So here we're going to show you how to quickly make uh, an embedded web application on your ESP32 or 8266. So here we have our ESP32 simply connected to an RF transmitter and we've loaded the web page on this old tablet PC. And as we press the button that transmits the signal to the socket and this web page is fully embedded with all the scripts onto the board. And don't forget, if you enjoy this video and any of our others, don't forget to like and subscribe. So here's the full Instructable article that's linked in the description. And this will take you through the wiring, all of the settings, how to upload it to your board. And you'll end up with, as you've seen, our simple web application as shown here. And all the source is available at the top of the article. So we'll need to download the project template software extract it and then open it in Visual Studio. So here we have it open. And as you can see in the data folder, we've got our JavaScript, HTML and CSS files to be uploaded to the device onto SPIFs. And then we can also use the editor in Visual Studio to edit all of these different languages. And it already has all of the IntelliSense and code hints to help you as, as you write your code. At the top, we've also got our INO open. So this is the actual sketch which will run on the board. And this simply handles all the requests and connects to the Wi-Fi and then displays the page and or sends the request through the RF to turn the socket on and off. So it's a very simple project, but it's just to show you what can be done. So here we'll have to publish our server data files to upload the data folder onto the chip. And then we'll have to build and upload as normal to upload the remaining INO code. Once that's done, you should be able to connect to it on your phone and you'll get the web page.